let us have the very simple aim here that is to write a matlab program to demonstrate the adaptive filtering using the rls algorithm so here it will be the first task that is generating the desired signal so usually i am denoting the desired signal with the variable name d but to define it we require a time parameter in discrete time manner here so let us have it to be small t to initiate at 0.001 with the step size of 0. Point again 001 up to maximum 1 so this will have total 1000 samples here now the mathematical logic to simply generate the desired signal of the sinusoidal type we keep the amplitude in between plus and two plus and minus two here so two multiplied to the sinusoidal trigonometric function sign here inside the parenthesis we have the harmonics generated with the computation of two multiplied by the constant pi holding the value 3.14 further multiplied to 50 times the time parameter here so this is what the generation of the desired signal now as you recall back the adaptive filtering system identification to get the filtered output we actually have the input signal to be desired signal plus the noise component that is the actual signal here so here we shall be generating it also so i write here generating corrupted with noise so here first of all to match the length of the signal with the desired signal we will compute how many elements are there in the desired signal so for that purpose we have a definition of small n to be the variable hold that down computed by the MATLAB syntax NUM EL the number of elements here the input argument is of course capital D here and then the actual signal having the desired signal component added by the noise here so for desired signal with the complete length D in the bracket we have 1 to small n which is added by the noise component so let us have 0.5 times the random signal R A N D N of the same length 1 comma small n here so at the end we close this MATLAB syntax with the help of semicolon here now for formulating the recursive least squares algorithm here we require a variable let us say for example IDA to hold the value 10 to the power 4 here next to that we require capital I to hold all the elements equal to 1 of the dimensions 1 comma small n small n is the length of the desired signal then ending with the help of semicolon we get to define capital R to hold the multiplication of ITA with this capital I the upper two variables that we have defined ITA and capital I have been multiplied to generate capital R and now for the weight factor here we define the variable W initiated with all the values to be 0 all the element values to be 0 or the dimension 1 comma n so 1 is the starting and small n is the ending index here so here for the recursive type of the least squares filter we need to define a for loop with the index variable i started at 1 extending with the number of iterations up to small n here so let us have generation of the signal as y of i this we compute with the help of the weight vector of i the conjugate 
further multiplied by the actual signal that we have defined a of i here and with the help of semicolon now we know the difference of the desired signal and that of this particular computed signal will be the error signal that is why we write e double r of i is equal to capital t of i minus y of i on the above step here we also define the z of i as we see the mathematical logic from the previous video or the recursive least squares algorithm we need z of i which is having r of i from the above step multiplied to the actual signal a of i here at the end we have semicolon we require a small cube that is equal to capital a of i further which is the conjugate of multiplied to z of i from the above step then we require small v which is equal to 1 divided by in the parenthesis the addition of 1 with small q here from the above step ending with the help of semicolon then generating z z or i here that is equal to v further multiplied to z of i and next to that the weight update equations will be as like w in the bracket i plus 1 i should be small case here which is equal to w of i from the previous step added by the error signal e double r r of i further multiply to z z of i here and next to this it should be capital R of i plus 1 which is equal to capital R of i minus z z of i further multiply to z of i ending with the help of semicolon and coming out of this for loop after this for loop because the algorithm is recursive least squares we need the help of another for looping to obtain the adaptive desired output here so here we make another for loop started with the index variable i so that will start at 1 and end on small n here here we make the computation of capital B of I to be such the adaptive desired output signal here. So as per the logic it should be sum of W of I conjugate further multiply to capital A of I here at the end semicolon and also coming out of this for loop here. So here we have the for loop with the index variable i here like this. Now after coming out of this for loop we have completely developed this MATLAB script now only the part is to display the signals here. So here I write display of signals input and output as well as the intermediate signals you can say so for display purpose we shall be making the use of subplot command so we expect as the previous programming four rows a single column and four cells here the assignment to the first cell of the subplot with the help of plot command the input argument will be capital D the D holds the desired signal information hence the title this sinusoidal type of the signal arranging the amplitude between minus 2 to plus 2 after title keyword within a pair of parentheses and inside within a pair of single quotes we write the text desired signal ending with the help of semicolon then going for the assignment to the next 
of plot cell here so it should be 4 comma 1 comma 2 here again using the plot command where the input argument is of the actual signal capital A here hence providing title to this particular plot here that is signal corrupted with noise at the end semicolon and as the two input signals we have displayed here now it is to display the output signals of the adaptive filtering as well according to the formulation of the recursive least squares algorithm so it will be the assignment to sequential next subplot cell here so it will be 4 comma 1 comma 3 the use of plot command as the output signal information is folded by the variable capital B capital B is the input argument here to the plot command and then the particular title so here it is adaptive desired output so after this there it is only one subplot cell the last one so here i write 4 comma 1 comma 4 here the use of plot command where we shall display the error signal the error signal is denoted by capital e small rr so here the title the last line of this matlab coding that it is error signal error signal here at the end semicolon so let us save this so let us name it program as we are in the sixth chapter program underscore six and the 17th topic underscore 17 it should be so we save it so let us see the file name has been generated into the current folder as well as on the editor window let us run this program so as we run this particular program you see a matlab window has popped up here now as i maximize this matlab window you see there it is a desired signal into the first cell as we have four rows and only one column desired signal into the first cell in the second cell the signal corrupted with noise and according to the use of recursive type of the least squares algorithm rls algorithm we have the adaptive desired output plotted into the third cell and the different signal that is the error signal plotted into the last cell so this was our topic matlab program rls algorithm